good, y'all. We back. I want to talk about Mr. Diddy. There are more accusations surfacing now. More people are, are accusing him of sexual assault. And I'm actually glad, you know, with all the weird activities this man has been involved in. And as narcissistic as this guy is, hopefully this is just the beginning. But it looks like Diddy's about to be getting that Cosby treatment. He about to be going through the same thing Cosby went through. And I hope he has to do some time just like Cosby. But more time, you know. I, I, I'm not a fan of the industry giving, I should say, the industry and the powers that be giving these artists and executives passes for their sins, for their uh, inappropriate behaviors and dealings with women, all because of their money and all because of what they do for them. We got to realize that it is so much corruption going on, y'all. And when it comes to the industry, hip hop, R&B, or just the music industry in general, it ain't even 20% of justice being served. There has been so much corruption going on. Even when we was kids, like even in the 90s, you knew industry execs, record, record executives were pretty much forcing Women mostly, but even boys, even men, to do strange things just to get some type of fame, just to be able to uh, make it. Knowing that they're using these young artists for their talents, their own personal talents that they had before they were discovered by these executives in the music industry. They are so sick that they will force, or at least try to force, these young artists who want to uh, accomplish their dream of becoming rich and famous for their gifts, they will take advantage of them and make them do some very degrading, disgraceful things that they will regret for the rest of their lives. And they'll go as far as videotaping it sometimes, or at least documenting some information on them. So if for some reason they want to turn their back on these executives or if they want to expose these record executives or whatever for whatever, whatever the case may be they will use that against these artists and i think that's a, the, a big reason why a lot of these artists don't or have not been exposing uh more people you know i think more people need to be exposed and i think there's a lot more people that are victims uh, from the music industry than we think but a lot of them they feel like they can't speak because of things they already participated in and they have that fear of humiliation but gradually things are changing gradually people are being fed up they are tired of being uh, silenced they are tired of living in fear of what might happen to them if they say something. So now we have more and more people. Now it's it disappoints me that we got more people coming out exposing certain people because of money. You know, I think if money wasn't so much of a big issue for some of these uh, artists, even Cassie, I don't know if she would have exposed them. But I'm glad she did it because I think she's going to send a chain reaction of other women or two other women that will make them respond in a certain way. Now, there's going to be some some women that's out there that's just going to make up lies and they're going to try to get a bag off the uh, energy of real victims who have been molested, sexually assaulted and taken advantage of by certain people in the industry like Diddy. But there's more people out there. Clive Davis, Quincy Jones, many others who have been some monsters, sick entities on this planet with these sick agendas and sick behaviors 
and they are still they are still doing what they want to do they're not being held accountable nobody's exposing them you know why because people fear what might happen to them if they expose those type of people so the major industry execs you know they're not really really getting uh exposed it's kind of the ones that are like the the lower tier executives like a diddy but diddy definitely definitely needs to be exposed and he definitely need definitely needs to go down excuse my fumbling words but he definitely needs to go down you know i mean if you look at the young pictures of diddy when he first came in the industry that man had opportunists all over his eyes all over his face you know he was not he ain't no hood dude he ain't from the hood but the fact that this dude has been uh connecting himself and aligning himself with all of these executives i already know that i mean let's be real here man allegedly p diddy has been on some fruit booty stuff for the longest problem and allegedly diddy has been sleeping with big time executives record producers or or just guys who own record labels you know did he have to do a lot of weird stuff to get where he's at as a matter of fact he's the only african-american man who's is in the position he's in right now okay you got russell simmons uh and some other people you know i guess 50 is kind of close to that round but he ain't knowing he's not all the way up there with Diddy because I don't think he's willing to do half of the stuff that Diddy has done to get where he's at but 50 has been a, done a great, great job of marketing himself but there has been stuff about Russell Sim, Russell Simmons and many others you know maybe it might be maybe uh Jermaine Dupri might be next who knows hey I heard some stories about Jermaine Dupri about some things he allegedly did but I don't know but we're gonna see it's probably gonna be a whole chain reaction is going to be more and more people being exposed and even in our own community we got to hold our people accountable and we got some foul people in our community let's stop being on code let's stop trying to take up and make excuses for them when we know they foul forget all that like stuff that fanboy stuff man do you want justice in this world do you want good in this world or do you just want to support evil because of the money that's backing it we got to do better, y'all. So hopefully this will help spark a new age and a new wave of justice because justice must be served. And that clown Diddy needs to be up out of here.